Welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. Yes, Irish Nights 2022. It's another repeat brew from last year, but with another big change up, another split batch. Don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. Definitely appreciate the sharing. It's another one that just blew out of the kegs. I mean, people enjoyed it a lot. It was one of the best stouts I've ever made, and I've made a couple stouts that are quite amazing, but that one was definitely one of them. So I decided I'm gonna do it again, but I'm gonna change it up just a tiny bit. I did have to replace one of the malts too because I did not have one of the malts from last year available anymore. So I'll go down it real quick and we'll get brewing. I did do some malt conditioning. I will tell you if you ever do malt conditioning, <clears throat> I don't know if you wanna do the dark grains. I had to put in some of the regular Maris Otter just to kind of get some of that moisture. It's like the dark doesn't absorb the moisture and the more you stir it, the more it smells like coffee and chocolate, which not a bad thing, but you know. As you can see, we've got two pounds of flaked barley. That was equivalent to last year, although we did scale the entire recipe from five to six gallons. So we can do two three gallon batches. Last year we used White Labs 007, um, the extra dry English ale, extra dry or dry English ale, whatever you want to call it. This time for the, I'm still going to use that in one because it tasted so good, but I have five, 005, 002, both British English ale yeast. And then I also have the Irish ale yeast, which is 004. So I'm still debating on which one I want to pitch in that extra three gallons so that we can do a comparison. But very easy grain bill, a um, little complex for grain bills, but it is what it is. It's eight pounds, 14 ounces of Maris Otter. Gotta have your Maris Otter. Two pounds of flaked barley. We have my Victory Malt, 15 ounces. This is the change. Last year I did 9.5 of a dark chocolate from Patagonia. Don't have that, can't get it right now. So I'm going to go with Carafa Special 2 at 9.5 as a substitute. And that takes us from a 450 to a 425 approximate SRM. I've learned those SRMs aren't always dead on either. And then roasted barley, we got seven ounces. Black Patton, we got six ounces. And then I had to change the hops. Last year I used Southern Cross, but I used it very early on. I don't have enough. So I'm gonna go with probably just Magnum, just as a bittering hop. And I'll do it as a you know early addition, probably right at the 90 minutes, I'm still, Oh, I'm pretty set on it, but I'm still thinking, hmm, but I'll probably go with Magnum. But yeah, I mean, I've already had coffee, but this just smells so, so good. If there's ever a shortage of chocolate or coffee, I think all the home brewers out there can uh, generate some sort of a substitute for people. It's just, oh, and I've had that too, where I've literally tasted some wort that tasted like pure chocolate. So I'm gonna get this crushed. We do have, like I said, 8.7 gallons total water. We do have some brewing salts. We do have some baking soda, which will be thrown into the boil and not into the mash, so I don't add too much alkalinity. I'm not doing anything special as far as the pH. I'm good with it. What we had last year worked. I may take a pH reading, I may not. It all depends how I feel at the moment. <laughs> Let's get brewing. Okay, we're sitting at 151. Got the small batch adapter. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in there. Ow. Almost forgot the brewing salts, here we go. We'll add the baking soda in the boil. Ew. We're gonna go ahead and get mashed in. I'll speed this part up. This is a little bit of the barley, flaked. I wanna mix that up with the grains. So I'm just putting a little bit in at a time. Okay, <clears throat> put a clamp on. Clamp on, clamp off. Open. Spigot, turn on the pump, and we're flowing too fast. That's looking pretty good. I can go with that. Okay, we're gonna start the timer. We've got 75 minutes here, and I'm gonna drop the temp or the power to 60%. Okay, we just hit our uh, 75 minutes. We got 10 minutes at 168, so I'm gonna crank her on up, and we'll go for 100%. And I got the sparge water already heating up, so we're good. Okay, time to sparge. Okay, here we go. So if I can pull it straight up. Oh, love it on the first try. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, let's see how. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and sparge. And once it hits boil, we got a 90 minute boil and I'll hit start. 
Okay, I'm not up to a boil yet. I'm only sitting at, what, 191? <clears throat> but I added the baking soda. And when you add baking soda or anything that's an alkaline, mainly baking soda, to the boil after the mash, add it before you start the boil. Otherwise, you're gonna almost guarantee you're close to a boil over. And stir it in a little bit. Okay, we are breaking and coming up to a boil. And doesn't look like I'm gonna need to do anything to uh, defoam. Okay, so we're actually starting to boil. So I'm gonna start the 90 minute timer. And our first and only hop addition. It's enough to get it to 50 IBUs. I'll balance all that roasted malts, sweetness. Smells freaking good. Would have preferred Southern Cross like last time, but you know, you do with what you got. Figure with a 90 minute boil, I can pull the hops out the last five minutes and have zero real loss of bittering. Okay, we'll let that go. Okay, I'm in the last four minutes. Boral flock tablet, teaspoon of yeast, nutrient. And I'm gonna go get the jaded cella. We'll drop it on the zero, it's all good. Okay, there we go. Turned it off, I'm gonna get the jaded flowing. Okay, I'm gonna get this down. So you pitch the yeast, I'll break it up into two, three gallons. We'll do a 007 on one, and I have no clue on the other. I'll have to figure it out. It's all good. Been a long day. Been a long day. Okay, so here's our Irish extra stout. Finished close to the 75% BHE, brew house efficiency, whatever you wanna call. Got my O2 over here and my O7. Yes, I said O2, 002 from White Labs. I've decided I'm gonna do 007, which was the original right here, which very dry, very clean, it's all good. According to White Labs, a lot of major breweries use it even for American uh, IPAs and things. And then the English 002 over here is gonna leave some residual sweetness and mild fruity esters, which I don't really like sweet, but it'll be a good comparison. Who knows, maybe I'll be like, wow, that's really good. I did consider using 005 or even the 004, which was the Irish. The Irish would have brought out a lot of the roasted flavors, even more so. But, hmm, let's do this. 007, which was our original, and 002, and we'll rock and roll. So I go over here, grab the little magnet, if you've seen this game before. And 002 naturally clumps a lot and falls out of suspension and also is really good if you want a clear, very clear beer because it falls out of suspension so easily. Coagulates, as I said, it looks like it coagulates. Thinks, makes me think of blood. Mm. It's got a nice smell to it. It does have a little fruity ester. I say stone fruit. Kind of my go-to, you know what I mean? Okay, there we go. Mm, way over pitched. Not worried. How that coagulates, so I want to make sure I got it all in there, you know what I mean? And then 007, grab our magnet. There it is. Yeah, a little bit of esters. Very mild though. There we go. It's about the same, maybe a little less. So I've got to get the little stoppers on here, put the bubblers on the whole nine yards. And these, I'm gonna ferment them at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'll try to maintain the 68. One of these, I think it might be this one, might get a little dice, dice tell, if I can say that word right. So I may have to crank it up a little, but that's pretty normal. I love them usually get up around 73 before I cold crash them and rock on from there. Don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing, definitely appreciate it. And don't forget, Part two of this will be the taste testing to do a little comparison and see what the big differences are. And maybe I'll find out I like 002 better than 007. I don't know, but last year 007 was freaking spot on. It was a great beer. Thank you again for joining us here at Bitter Reality Brewing and cheers. Have a great year.